it's you again. Well, I guess I have time for one more story. Oh, and I have just the thing. Thunder Cake by Patricia Polacco. Thanks for tuning in to episode three of At Home with Miss Burke. Thunder Cake is about a little girl and her grandmother. And her grandmother comes from Russia. So you might hear some words in Russian and her grandmother might talk differently than you. Thunder Cake. On sultry summer days at my grandma's farm in Michigan, the air gets damp and heavy. Sultry means really hot. Storm clouds drift low over the fields. Birds fly close to the ground. The clouds glow for an instant with a sharp crackling light and then a roaring, low, tumbling sound of thunder makes the windows shudder in their panes. The sound used to scare me when I was little. I loved to go to Grandma's house. Babushka, as I used to call my Grandma, had come from Russia years before, but I feared Michigan's summer storms. I feared the sound of thunder more than anything. I always hid under the bed when the storm moved near the farmhouse. Are you afraid of thunder? A lot of kids are. This is the story of how my grandma, my babushka, helped me overcome my fear of thunderstorms. Grandma looked at the horizon, drew a deep breath, and said, This is thunder cake baking weather all right. Looks like a storm coming to me. Child. You come out from under that bed. It's only Sunday you're hearing, my grandma said. The air was hot, heavy, and damp. A loud clap of thunder shook the house, rattled the windows, and made me grab her close. Steady, child she cooed. Unless you let go of me, we won't be able to make a thunder cake today. Thunder cake, I stammered as I hugged her even closer. Don't pay attention to that old thunder except to see how close the storm is getting. When you see the lightning, start counting real slow. When you hear the thunder, stop counting. That number is how many miles away the storm is. Understand? She said. We need to know how far away is the storm so we have time to make the cake and get it into the oven before the storm comes. Or it won't be real thunder cake. Thunder cake? I've never made a thunder cake. Her eyes surveyed the black clouds above. Then she strode into the kitchen. Her worn hands pulled a thick book from the shelf above the wood stove. Let's find the recipe, child, she crowed as she lovingly fingered the grease-stained pages. Hmm, not that one. Not that one either. Aha! Here it is. Thunder cake. She carefully wrote the ingredients on a piece of note paper. Now, 
Let's gather all the things we'll need, she said, as she scurried out the back door. Oh, there they are at the barn. We were by the barn door when a huge bolt of lightning flashed. I started counting, just like Grandma said to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the thunder roared. Ten miles, Grandma. It's ten miles away. I said. About an hour away, she said. You'll have to hurry, child. Gather them eggs careful like. Eggs from mean old Nellie Peckhen. I was scared. I knew she would try to peck me. I'm here, she won't hurt you. Just get them eggs. Oh, they need eggs for the cake. The lightning flashed again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I counted. Nine miles, my grandma reminded me. Storm's getting closer, I guess. Milk was next. Milk from the old kick cow. As grandma milked her, kick cow turned and looked at me, right at me. I was scared. She looked so big. Zip! went the lightning. <gasps> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I counted. Baroom! went the thunder. Eight miles, my child. Grandma croaked. Now we have to get chocolate and sugar and flour from the shed. From the shed? Shed's like a little barn or a little house where you keep things. Let's see where they're going. Hmm. I was scared as we walked down the path from the farmhouse through tangleweed woods to the shed. Suddenly, the lightning slit the sky. <gasps> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I counted. Boom, ba boom, ba boom, crashed the thunder. <gasps> it scared me a lot. But I kept walking with my grandma. Another jagged edge of lightning flashed as I crept into the shed. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. I counted. Crackle, crackle, boom, kaboom. Ah! I'm here, child, Grandma said. Hurry now, we haven't got much time. We've got every ingredient but the secret ingredient. Secret ingredient? I wonder what that is. Three overripe tomatoes and some strawberries. Overripe means like a really soft, really red tomato. Looks like the girl's picking them. I climbed up high on the trellis to pick the tomatoes. The ground looked a long way down. I was scared. I'm here, child, she said. Her voice was steady and soft. You don't have to worry. You won't fall. I reached three luscious tomatoes while she picked strawberries. Lightning again. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Oh. Kabang! Kaboom! The thunder growled. <laughs> now they're back home. Finally safe. 
We hurried back to the house and the warm kitchen and we measured the ingredients. I poured them into a big mixing bowl while Grandma mixed. I churned butter for the frosting and I melted the chocolate. Mmm, this sounds delicious. Finally, we poured the batter into the cake pans and put them into the oven together. Lightning lit up the kitchen. I only counted to three and the thunder rumbled and crashed. Huh. Three miles away, Grandma said, and the cake is in the oven. We made it. We'll have a real thunder cake. Now the cake is in the oven. Mmm, it must smell so good. As we waited for the cake, Grandma looked out the window for a long time. Why, you aren't afraid of thunder. You're too brave, she said as she looked right at me. I'm not brave, Grandma. I, 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 I was under the bed, remember? But you got out from under it, she answered. And you got eggs from mean old Nellie Pekin. You got milk from the old kick cow. And you went through tangleweed woods to the dry shed. You climbed the trellis in the barnyard to get the tomatoes. From where I sit, only a very brave person could have done all those things. What do you think? Do you think the little girl was brave? I thought and I thought as the storm rumbled closer. She was right. I was brave. Brave people can't be afraid of a sound. As we spread out the tablecloth and set the table, we were done. We hurried into the kitchen to take the cake out of the oven. After the cake cooled, we frosted it. Just then, the lightning flashed, and this time it lit up the whole sky. Even before the last flash had faded, the thunder rolled, boomed, crashed, boomed. Just above us. The storm was here. Perfect, Grandma said. Just perfect. She beamed. She beamed. That means she had a big smile. She beamed as she added the last strawberry to the glistening chocolate frosting on top of our thunder cake. Looks great. Mm, now I'm hungry. As rain poured down on our roof, Grandma cut a wedge for each of us. She poured us steaming cups of tea from the samovar. That's a Russian teapot. When the thunder roared above us so hard it shook the windows and rattled the dishes in the cupboards, we just smiled and ate our thunder cake. Mm. From that time on, I never feared the voice of thunder again. And here is the recipe for the cake. Maybe you can check that out. Maybe you can make it at home. Well, boys and girls, I'm tired. It's past 8 p.m. and I need to go to bed. This has been Thunder Cake by Patricia Polacco. 
Patricia Polacco writes lots of great children's books. Thanks for tuning in to episode three of At Home with Miss Burke. I hope you're doing well. I hope you are sneezing into your elbows. I hope you're not fighting with your brothers and sisters. I hope you're playing and building and being creative and getting outside to get some fresh air and being nice to the adults who take care of you. Hope to see you soon. Bye.